So a news clip came out from Fox New York 5, all right? And what they're talking about here is that lawmakers are calling for more action following the attack on New York Police Department officers. What do you guys think about that? I think that's interesting. I think that's interesting. It's very interesting how the population can call for more action when it comes to quote unquote attacks against the police officers, but they kind of feel like there should be more legislation or less, however it works out, that allows them to attack other segments of the population more. Would you guys agree? If you guys agree, give me a thumbs up. If you guys disagree, then give me a thumbs down. Let's see what she got to say. Starting with this, we began with growing calls for action after a group of migrants attacked NYPD officers in Times Square. The Manhattan DA plans to convene a grand jury in the case tomorrow, while local lawmakers now want to get immigration and custom enforcement involved. We'll turn things over to more. Now, here's my question. How are they going to get immigration and custom service, uh, immigration and custom services involved? It's kind of hard for you to do that when you've declared yourself as a sanctuary city. So what's interesting about this, right, is although I do not support the sanctuary cities, I do some support consistency, right? So I got to ask the question, how is it that New York City is just able to supersede their own sanctuary city designation and call for U.S. Customs and Services uh, intervention right now? Now, here's my thing. If, if you ask me, when it comes down to it, sanctuary cities, how they get in the way of law enforcement when it comes to dealing with this kind of stuff if i was immigration and custom services i'd say eh you guys are on your own you guys got to detain the suspects you guys got to deliver the suspects to court and once the court procedure goes through you guys got to deliver the suspect to jail or you know to the airport if they're going to get deported back to their country these sanctuary cities not cooperating with uh with uscis i don't really know if uscis should jump on board with them saying now because they've actually done something that there that's egregious and we got all of this public outrage now we're going to cooperate no 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 it doesn't work that way i wouldn't cooperate if i was uscis unless i got the commitment from new york city from mayor eric adams and from governor kathy holchel to take away the sanctuary city um status and allow us to do our jobs without you all interfering and intervening if you guys think that that's reasonable give me a thumbs up if you guys don't think that that's reasonable give me a thumbs down but i find it interesting how that none of those conversations are taking place and real quick shout out to everybody that's in here i appreciate each and every one of you guys being in here like i said i'm sorry i'm not able to you know hit the comments like i usually do i'm just trying to hurry up and get through this we got 23 people watching and we got 22 likes if everybody can bang on that like button and get us to 40 that'd be amazing Morgan Mackay, she is in Times Square where lawmakers just spoke out. Morgan, I know many people just upset by that video of the migrants pummeling the officers. Now these local lawmakers are getting involved. What are they saying? Bianca, this attack has people on both sides of the aisle outraged, with even some Democratic leaders saying that the migrants responsible should be deported. But the New York City field director for ICE. Now, remember, as far as them, as far as all the people who said that those uh, migrants involved should be deported, Governor Kathy Hochul said that as well. Governor Kathy Hochul said they should be on Rikers Island waiting to get deported. If you guys remember her saying that, give me a thumbs up. If you guys don't remember her saying that, give me a thumbs down. Saying today that their hands are somewhat tied due to the city sanctuary city laws. But first, that attack that happened on January 27th. The two police officers tried to break up a disorderly group outside a migrant shelter in Times Square, and when they went to arrest one of the men, they were attacked. Police say that more than a dozen migrants participated in attacking these officers. All but one of the men who were allegedly involved in the attack were released without bail. Reportedly, four of those migrants then fled to the city to... So now, here, here's my question. Who's... I don't know if you guys saw. I'm going to... Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying those clips, all right? To, uh, tomorrow, either after my stream in the morning or before it, I'm going to try to clip out that part on MSNBC where they had Al Sharpton on Morning Joe. Did you guys see that? How many people saw Al Sharpton on Morning Joe? Al Sharpton on Morning Joe allowed those people on Morning Joe to twist it to somehow blame black people for these police officers getting beat down. Did you guys see that? If you, I, I did a stream about it yesterday. If you guys haven't seen that stream, it might end up being on members only because I think the yellow dollar signed it. So the members will be able to see it. Did you guys see that? 
if you didn't see it, you can always go on MSNBC and look at the actual stream. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Fled the city to California after the arraignment. So, so we got to ask the question, who's responsible? Let's, let's put this out here. Who is responsible for this attack on these police officers? Let me know in the comment section who you all feel is responsible for this attack on the police officers. I'll tell you who's responsible for this attack on the police officers. For one, the people that voted in Kathy Hochul and the people that voted in Eric Adams and Kathy Hochul and Eric Adams and everybody who supports the sanctuary city designation that gets in the way of the police working with um, the police working with um, USCIS to get rid of the illegal migrants. If you guys agree, give me a thumbs up. If you guys disagree, give me a thumbs down. And ultimately, Joe Biden as well, because Joe Biden is the one with the open border policies, who's now sitting up there talking about the, the Republicans won't sign a bill. And that's the reason why everything is how it is. The bill wasn't even on the table. And this migrant crisis has been going on for how long? How much content do I have going back a couple years on immigration? It didn't just happen yesterday, but if you listen to what the state sanctioned media and if you listen to what Joe Biden and the Democrats are saying, they have you believe that. But it's not true. And there's receipts for it. Using bus tickets bought for them by a nonprofit. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg's office defended not seeking bail in this case, saying that they were sorting out exactly who committed what during the assault. New York City. So now Alvin Bragg said that he shouldn't have got bail because they were sorting out who did what. Isn't that what you do throughout an investigation? How many people have been in jail on bail and still been investigated, uh, 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 investigated, which means that they're sorting out who did what? Alvin Bragg said that, well, we're not going to leave them on bail because we're sorting out things. How, how many times have things gotten sorted out? That's what you do while people are in jail or on, on bail. You sort things out. You don't start the invest. You, you're, you're doing it. The investigation is ongoing. What are you talking about? So, again, this is just Alvin Bragg babbling, mumbling, not making any sense whatsoever. You can't sort things out with somebody in jail on bail that you got on camera. Does that make if that makes sense? Give me a thumbs up. If it doesn't make any sense, then give me a thumbs down. It makes no sense. This is what people got to do. As soon as people say this nonsense that doesn't make any sense, they need to get nailed on it. It needs to be said and repeated as many places as possible, because if not a lot of people say it, you know how it works. 24-hour news cycle, people act like it didn't happen. Field office director for ICE says that they used to work hands in hands with the NYPD. Now they find out about crime committed by migrants through the media. And we never had a seat at the table. So baby steps to get back in. But we want to make sure these people, you see the crimes that they're committing, they're turned over back to ICE. If they don't contact us, if you don't honor the detainers, there's no way that we can get them. Meanwhile, the NYPD does not track crime committed by migrants, partly due to the city's sanctuary city status. So uh, do you guys see that? How many people were aware of that? New York City does not track crime by migrants. Now, mind you, they hyper put a magnifying glass on crime committed by black people, but they don't track crime committed by migrants at all. So now everybody will sit up there and say, well, black people commit the most crimes. How do we know who commits the most crimes when we have groups of people that don't even get their crimes tracked? These are the statistics that these people use. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. I'm going to play that again. If they don't contact us, if you don't honor the detainers, there's no way that we can get them. Meanwhile, the NYPD does not track crime committed by migrants, partly due to the city's sanctuary city status. However, according to a deep dive by NBC, arrest records show residents living at 30 of the city's 200 migrant shelters have been arrested more than 1,200 times in the last year. 
Did you guys hear that? If you guys heard that, give me a thumbs up. If you guys did not hear that, give me a thumbs down. Now, they don't track migrant crime, but with the information that they do have, they just listed off that ungodly statistic. I'm going to play that again. due to the city's sanctuary city status. However, according to a deep dive by NBC, arrest records show residents living at 30 of the city's 200 migrant shelters have been arrested more than 12 hundred times in the last year. Just this morning, the NYPD and Mayor Eric Adams announced that more than a half a dozen migrants were arrested for allegedly being part of a robbery ring. Did you hear that? Half a dozen migrants got arrested just this morning for being part of a robbery ring. But they're not keeping track of the, of, of the crime. So not only, not only are these people undocumented, when it comes to what they do illegal, it's not documented. These are undocumented and not documented bros. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my man Hurricane IQ for being a like enforcer. Make sure y'all throw some like enforcers in the chat for Hurricane IQ. Enforce them likes. Shout out to my man Hurricane IQ. Almost at 40 likes. Need nine more. Let's get them, let's get them nine likes so that we can start banging for 50. <laughs> On good day this morning, NYPD uh, patrol John Shell says most of these crimes were committed by a group of migrants from Venezuela. It was part of a big city. Most of the crimes committed by a group of migrants from Venezuela. Okay. Make it make sense. Right, pardon, 62 events of people get women getting their pocketbooks and phone snatched. We made the arrest. We executed a search warrant this morning with the detective squad. Big impact on crime, this migrant Venezuelan crew. Did you, see, did you hear what he said? Now, mind you, they're able to figure this out without, without keeping track of statistics. They're able to, these people are creating such an impact with the crime, they're able to keep track of it without tracking the statistics. Big impact on crime, this migrant Venezuelan crew. Guys, hear that? Now, it's amazing how the Democrat media is now talking about this. Remember before, I've been talking about this for the last damn near two, two and a half, three years. It was misinformation, Russian bot. Now, all of a sudden, it's legitimate information because the blue media decided to pick it up. Are we serious? Shout out to my man, Carlton Way. Only one detective squad. Big impact on crime, this migrant Venezuelan crew that's preying on our city. We cannot have this anymore. We gotta stop it.